welcome back to my channel. I'm playing even at Yamai. I feel like I'm too moisture. Guys, never mind my lifting thing. It's been I don't know how many days after the installation, so we're getting to those days where now it's arising. Anyway, welcome back to episode five. Yes, of hashtag go bye. If you're new subscriber, welcome to you. If you're returning, what is that, baby? Today it's a gloomy day. Like it's very gloomy and yeah man you know i there's no sun so the lighting we have to work with what we have and yeah we gotta do this today we are actually having i know i'm taping this on tuesday but you guys are gonna see this on wednesday so we're having the live sessions for hashtag go by today it's our first one i'm a bit anxious but i think if you guys are gonna be there interacting with me it's gonna make things a bit lighter anyway as tradition we always have wine or champagne anguish but today Today is different because it's a gloomy day and yeah so today we don't have wine we have a cup of tea i have the mint infusion mint leaves um mint leaves rather and it's because the girlies are coming so i want to be prepared when they come and yeah that's that on that so this is what we have in for today there's no wine <laughs> If you're watching this and it's sunny and you have a glass of wine, it's still fine. Me and Jay today, it's very cold for me to have wine or anything other than tea or coffee. Anyway, today is in honor of Mother's Day on Sunday. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mummies out there. Um, so, yeah, today is just honoring Mother's Day and I'm not sharing anything. Um, I will add on to what people already said. I put up a question thingy that question box thing what is it called is it still a poll but anyway i put that up and i was asking mommies that what's the one thing that motherhood has taught you and the whole point of actually us having today's conversation is because other people who are not mommies i want us to have an idea of how motherhood looks like um in case you are considering being a mom one day or are you planning on being a mom anytime soon just hearing from other people who have experienced other mothers who will team what are they learning so that now when you go there there's no manual when it comes to parenting or being a mother but i think when at least you have an idea you know of what to expect some of the things that other people go through that you might or you might not go through um what would you do better if say say you encounter a similar experience that another mom has you know so yeah that's the whole point um and yeah the people who answered here it's mothers some are not mothers but they were just sharing whatever that they wanted to share and i'm still gonna read it out i'm gonna read your answers um yeah based on that disclaimer i'm not a psych i always say psychiatrist why do i always think people are mad or anything like i'm not a psychologist therapist nothing i'm just a little girl you know what I need to stop saying a little girl because okay no i am a little girl with a big god you know that saying that's trending on social media wait let me i just want to adjust so that you guys can be okay better never mind my eyes doing this guys the, the clouds are actually a bit too bright for me because i do have eye problems so yeah that's what i'm doing today and i'm speaking from inexperience in experience meaning i don't have experience over motherhood i've never been a mom before i do not have a kid i did say that i have kids but they're not from my own womb so i'm not a full-time mom i'm a two-hour mom because sometimes you know my sister's kids they like i can be a mother to them for like two hours after two hours no they must go back to their mother so <laughs> so that's that um I, I think i'll just elaborate more based on what people said or shared and let's get into the video the first person said that motherhood taught me patience more than anything so that's the first thing and i actually saw patience a lot where they're saying it taught them patience um and yeah i think it's in regards to the fact that that person is there forever so no more food but patient you're gonna have to learn how to be patient because um kids are a lot you know i've seen i've been a kid before and they're a lot and you need patience because yeah no I've, I've seen a lot not being a mom but i've seen it i'm not a mother but i just want to say thanks to all mothers out there for always being present for their children and happy mother's day to all mothers may all your dreams come true thank you very much you see not a mother but just appreciating mothers 
um, the chora for their children because it's not an easy journey but the fact that every day you still choose your kids every day you still put them first and we appreciate it man you know um open oh motherhood has taught this mother how to open your mind be aware of people um yeah i think um motherhood changes who you like you get to see yourself as someone who you've never seen yourself before like you have to reintroduce yourself to yourself because now this is new you and there's somebody else who's fully dependent on you and yeah open your mind i'm not really understanding it but okay i get it i get it to be aware of people maybe this is a sense of protection be aware of people like okay you guys too either they mean in a sense of protection be aware as in like you must make sure your kids are around good people how they're growing up are they in the right right environment speaking to the right people what are they exposed to or it could be in a sense of be aware of people as in like kids teach you how to be bubbly be jolly be open-minded okay i have a feeling it's leaning more to that one now that i'm thinking about it i think they mean in a sense of kids open your mind because kids are playful they like you've seen kids they're always happy like you can make them upset one minute and then the next minute they're coming to you they're hugging you you know and as a parent, I've heard a parent saying it taught them how to, you know, be be that type of person, be a kid. Because now when a person wrongs us, immediately they go and me, for example, I'm terrible at that and I need to learn because um, people do deserve second chances, friends. Yeah, let's keep it there. Um, this one said motherhood taught her how to be patient, loving and supportive. Again, patience is coming back. Um, loving and supportive and yeah support is a big role because there's a book that I read what happened to you by Oprah Winfrey and she spoke about the being there for your parent like for your kids so especially in their early early days or early years you know when they're still babies where you have to be there show up so that they can they can trust in you as a parent they know you are there they know you are consistent also so yeah, this one taught them patience. So now, now we know the theme of being a parent is patience. Then this one said, never thought it is possible to love someone more than you love yourself. Yes, I've heard that a lot. We, as soon as now there's this, actually from pregnancy, you know, a lot of mothers, they start falling deeply in love with their babies from pregnancy. You, you haven't even met this person, but you love them so much, you know. And I think it just comes with the fact that um it's like i i this person is in me like this person is growing inside of me this person is mine you know i made this person well god made them but you humanly made that person um and i can only imagine the type of love i can only and then this one said that there's no recipe in motherhood you learn along the way and you trust your decisions oh very powerful if you got everything i said today just take this because i feel like it's very powerful or oh, others are also powerful but the fact that like i said there's no manual to being a parent my dad always used this phrase a lot um i think i'm going to refer to him because he's the one who my mom was present but my dad is the one who did most of the raising you know especially me and my sister so wait okay so he used this phrase a lot where he said that there's no parenting, but every, like say he, he did something, a mistake, and he regrets what he did, he would always say, well, see, there's no parenting manual, so he won't always get it right, but he's trying every day. It's all about showing up every day, doing the best that you can, correcting your mistakes. This is the other thing that I, I wish our generation, when we become moms, we... We, we we correct that is the fact that you can be wrong as a parent and you can be accountable as a parent you know being wrong doesn't mean you have failed as a parent it means that you just got it wrong and there's nothing wrong because you don't always know everything but i feel like a lot of moms if i'm seeing it um they too hard on themselves so i'm trying to get it right that when they're wrong they won't even admit that they're wrong because it's like parents are never wrong which is not true because they're humans you know we all learn and learn we learn things so i think it's all about doing the best that you can um allowing yourself to make mistakes as a parent as a person as well and being accountable for those same mistakes that you have made so yeah and then this one says motherhood has taught her how to be brave and bear the pain hmm. i think when i see motherhood it's the one place where you don't have a choice but to still keep going even when you're at like you've hit rock bottom i mean it's a life principle but with motherhood it's like it's almost like there's no choice like you don't have a choice there 
you have to get up no matter how many times you fall you have to get up there's somebody who's dependent on you so you have to bear the pain so i get what they're saying that you have to be brave i think it unleashes this power in you it unleashes how how much strength you have as a mother you see we've seen how mothers struggle and how they showed up for their kids no matter what they what they went through they didn't back down they kept going for it they kept making sure that their kids they go to school but they are fine because we have it in us as women i think we're created just and the thing about that is it kicks in that motherly instinct when like tough times come it just kicks in you don't have control over it and that's where you see the amount of strength that you have say you're like your child is in danger there's a movie sharp it's a movie i can't really compare a movie and reality but i think it also it highlights mothers right um i think it's motherhood where gabriel union is playing um she's staring in that movie it's her and she has two kids and her husband i think recently died he was a rich husband and then um they came to rob the house or uh, yeah please watch that movie i'll probably put a clip or something so that you guys see it and then we saw how she fought oh that's what a mother does when her kids are in danger have you seen a lion when her cubs are in danger they fight and that's exactly who or what mothers are women in general actually because some of them they don't have mothers but they have that strength they have that fight in them so this one who said it teaches you how to be brave and bear the pain i get it as a woman and not just a, as a mother we have that in us and then the other one said to never die oh sorry to never divide my kids whilst i'm still alive their bond and love for each other completes me oh this is beautiful so this one is saying that like treating your your kids fairly you know equally and not having favorites because number one it doesn't only ruin the relationship between the parents and child but it ruins the relationship between the siblings themselves you know they start comparing themselves they start not liking each other jealousy and that's the last thing you want because your kids they have each other i mean i know when life knocks me down the one person i have is my sister my older sister the others they're still too young but i know that i have my sister because we've been together through things we had to conquer things together you know and individually but i know she has my back i have her back and that's the only thing that you can give your parents the siblings they must be there for each other the love do not divide and kids are not the same this is the other thing that i've noticed that what i've seen is some parents they try um my sister actually her and i we had this conversation a few days ago where we were saying that parents raising kids different kids the same like the same parenting style that you use on your first born is probably not or it might not work with the second born because the second born is different from the first and they are both unique individuals and you must find a way and know how to be a mom to this one the way they are and you know ish, i don't know how to explain this but like do not divide them separate them or there must there must be they have each other man when the world is against one of them the only person that they have is their siblings so and it's when you are still alive as a parent where you can create that bond even if maybe they're not from same say it's a guy who's watching this if they're not from the same mother take them out as a, as a father take them out to win and make them have that bond you know even if they have different baby what well, you have different baby mamas it doesn't mean that they have to be scattered one is there one is there one is there bring them together as a father while she's still alive because if you don't do that whilst you're alive when you pass away god forbid can you imagine the chaos that's going to happen say when the world comes and then now they have to divide your assets it's probably going to be fights because they don't have that bond that love that patience for each other as siblings it's it becomes too chaotic we have seen the siblings fighting over um, the assets of their parents not loving each other because they have different parents like say different moms or different dads but they're sharing one parent and it becomes so hard for them to actually build a bond when the parent is not is no longer there so whilst you're still there you still have the power to do it do it okay let's let's try and run down the the last ones this one says it's okay not to be okay motherhood is hard because days are not the same which is very true i think as much as you're still trying to be that brave and present parent allow yourself to be allow your emotions if you are sad it's okay for your children to see you said i know a lot of parents who like protecting their kids from seeing them when they're down and stuff like that but i think the other side of it or the lesson behind that is the fact that they don't think life is all gloomy and perfect they will see that life has its problems life has its challenges you are allowed to cry you are allowed to be vulnerable you are allowed to express your emotions because it's life it comes with its own challenges so I think you showing them 
when you are emotional, it teaches your kids how to understand life and not think it's this fairy tale where everything is just beautiful, everything is smooth sailing, life is always good. And then when life, real life hits, now it's a shock to them because they've never seen this before. They're not exposed to this. But if you took them through that process and you made them understand whilst they were still in your house, um, well, good to know life is not always smooth life is it has its hiccups say one day you guys as a family you're going to financial straight like financial what is it problems or issues right i wouldn't say like tell them exactly that you don't have money but make them understand that it happens so that when you guys get out of that situation they will know oh, it's shucks i've learned that at home we see that days when we don't have money or like we're having financial issues but we'll get over it we'll get through it because they've been in that experience they're exposed to it they have more knowledge of it and when they deal with it in their own life and they need they'll it won't be a shock you know because they've seen it before and it has taught them actually we would see um it can't get like this you know um so yeah allow yourself to to be as a parent allow yourself to cry if you have to cry and yeah um another person says lol there's no giving up here yeah no yeah that's the one thing every time i think about motherhood and me saying because i always say this i want to be a mom i want to be a wife which i do um and I think about how I love sleeping, number two, and how a lot of mothers are always complaining that they don't rest. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me sleep now. Let me just enjoy me sleeping. Because if that comes with motherhood not being able to rest, I'm going to have a hard time, honey, because I love resting. I love my sleep. And then somebody said, take it easy and be grateful. Your kids are the best thing ever. You don't want to miss any moment with them. Enjoy every moment because always the other thing I've heard from my cousin, from my sister is that um, they say they don't want to miss out on their, I don't know how exactly they put it, but the whole point that they're trying to make is Ruti, you grew up so fast. It's like I missed you when you were five because they'll never be five again. When your child is five, enjoy them when they're five. When they're 10, enjoy them when they're 10 because they'll never be that age again. So be grateful that you have them. Be grateful for whatever season that you are in with your kid, whether they're a teenager and it's at that point where there's this other cousin of mine who's at teenage stage and we're having a little rough time with her but i think at the same time we must still love her show her love support because she will never be a teenager again yes she will grow yes it's a bit challenging right now dealing with her but it's life it comes with that life is a journey not to we all had our own um adolescent stages we you know <laughs> we're not the best kids to our parents but yeah man and then somebody said um, it taught them love with, without any limitations. Yeah, love is the biggest thing that kids teach their parents. And then the other person said, be kind to yourself. And then um, somebody said it taught them unconditional love. Because, yeah, whether your child is naughty, um, clapping back or whatever. Well, I'll call them dad and you still have to show them love every morning. Um, if you're a girl, mom, you need to understand them when they have when they have moved like i told you guys I, my cousin is at that point we we yeah so it, it's a stage it comes and goes i think the most important thing is don't make them feel like you hate them still support them still love them through every season that they are going through um then the last person as we close off this one said expect the unexpected because your life will never be the same yes be open to learning and don't be too hard on yourself as a mom and i know it's easy for me to say this we're not being a mother but yeah man you, you won't always get it right but try the best try your best whatever you can do do it what you cannot do excuse him please i know he's been <laughs> making a few rounds but he's busy there so yeah so yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching this episode and i hope you guys watch the live tonight even though it will be the previous day if you haven't go to my instagram you'll probably find it on my page and yeah engage with me happy mother's day to all mummies out there and